where all have you taken your music in terms of touring or playing? Well, I've uh, it's really been more of a local endeavor than anything. Um, although uh, through the years, I I seem to discover that uh, a lot of my fan base is very scattered around the world, and definitely there are not more of them here in Los Angeles than anywhere else. Uh, sometimes it seems like there's hardly any here in Los Angeles. And I know that they're probably somewhere in deep in the cracks, just scattered around the counties. But um, uh, so far, my biggest concentrated fan base seems to be in uh, Philadelphia. But uh, you've, uh, you've played at Burning Man, you have your own uh, uh, annual show here in LA, and um, Doug, how was Burning Man? Um, Burning Man was shortly after my first CD in 96 on Cleopatra Records. I went and um, I was invited to play there. Of course, I submitted. I think a lot of people submit to, to play at the main stage there, but they stuck me on an early slot, um, which was a beautiful time of day. It was right at twilight, right, right when you know, it was after the sun had gone down and twilight glow started to kick in which to me is like, hey, it's time to come out and dance and like, you know, get faded and do what we do. And, uh, but the villagers didn't see it that way. They see it as once it's completely dark, then we come out and we dance and we do our paganistic, you know, <laughs> ode to the, uh, to the unexplainable. And, uh, and so I had maybe um, 50 or 60 people um, see me see that concert. It was on a big stage, but there were only 50 or 60 people, and less than half of them were dancing. Uh, it was, you know, mind you, it's always been awkward music for people to dance to. Um, but that's because I'm always trying to, you know, kind of just do something different with it, in a sense. So what's, what's your next project? What, what's out there that's a current or contemporary Surface 10 slash Dean DeBenedict? Um, I have a new Surface 10 Activity uh, CD that uh, may come out. I'm not exactly sure what label. There's two that seem to be interested, and they're both very small uh, labels. Kind of started out big, and as most labels are kind of small now because there isn't much need for labels in general. And it's just music that I've kind of cranked out, getting to know new software um, that I that I bought. And, uh, uh, some new programs that were given to me, and, um, different, you know, it's kind of the results. Like so much of what I've done actually was getting to know my equipment, um, that actually the music that I cranked out in that process I thought was significant. And, uh, and so now I seem to have another uh, small collection of um, results of the experiment. You know, and. Uh, and so I'll probably put it out as Surface 10 activity. It's a little more um, like uh, on the digitally complex, digitally uh, edgy, uh, kind of almost binary noise. Uh, well, I wouldn't even put it that way. Um, it's kind of just uh, experimental dance music with that. You know, everything I do, it kind of has that ambient uh, curtain to it. Um, so I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll find a label for that, but more than anything, right now I really want to focus on the ambient music, which I've been developing, which is all um, ambient music done with the human voice, and it's not done in a way that so many seem to have done it, which is kind of choral arrangement sounding, where they just put heavy reverb on their voice, and then they overdub themselves, and it sounds like this you know, kind of magnificent chorus. You know, a canyon or a valley. This is more like uh, it's got elements of that, but I also mimic uh, drum sounds and uh, um, lots of different kind of what would be deemed as instruments uh, and rhythmic parts and things like that that all just come from my mouth. I actually do, you know, what in hip hop would be considered beatboxing, where you you just make the rhythms with your mouth and. Uh, and it's kind of funky, it's a little funky, and in other ways it's, uh, it's real complex. Um, but I, I try to put as much thought as I can into each piece. 
and I just released a CD, uh, a full length of nothing but music like this. And uh, the concert I played in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia was actually the debut of the, the CD and that style that I would like to develop now. So I'm hoping that um, this style of music will catch on, that others will actually want to make a comedy of music. And uh, that's why I want to start focusing on that more than anything when it comes to, well, any ambient or electronic music that I'll be doing. Right, will you be doing any shows locally any time in the near, near future? Um, yeah, I plan to start booking things soon. Um, I seem to have mastered my live rig for um, to be able to make live ambient music. And uh, ambient music means a cappella and ambient combined, by the way. That was, you know, people started to, I think somebody joked and called me and called it that. So it kind of stuck with me. At first we were just joking about it, we didn't think it would be serious, and then it stuck. So, um, I'm pretty set up to do that kind of music now, uh, so I think I'll be booking things pretty soon. And as far as uh, airplay, what uh, what uh, channels, so to say, are, are playing your music? You can hear a lot of my stuff on, on like Soma FM, you know, internet radio. Um, in Los Angeles, I think they might still play my stuff on KCRW. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't tune in that much these days. There's a commercial free uh, radio station, of course, that are kind of the roots of where I came from, knowing different DJs on there, which is KXLU, which is just a college station. And I'm always on there. I'm, I'm always on Pat's show in one form or another, sooner or later, uh, on Alien Air, <coughs> Alien Air Music. And um, I think on occasion, uh, well, there's a couple other people that have played my stuff on there. And um, then there's, of course, Chuck's show on the East Coast in Philadelphia, Star's End. Uh, there's the syndicated radio shows here in, in, in the States, which is both uh, Echoes and Hearts of Space. They both still play my stuff on occasion. Um, but in Europe, it's like I get playlists from Europe all the time. I, I actually think I get played there m more than anywhere here. And I haven't really kept up with what shows they are. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's even a lot of shows still in the states, in different in in, in different states, um, that still play my stuff a lot. But uh, they just they all kind of fall into the cracks in my memory. Um, maybe if, you know if they kept in touch, I'd be I'd be all for uh, putting a link to them on my sites or whatever. So. Good, very cool. That's it. I'm out of questions. I'm definitely out of answers. Very good. Cut.